Welcome back to another gaming video where we have coffee talk. Now, will I mess up every single person's order? Or will I at least get one right? Will I cheat and still fail? <laughs> Only one way to find out. Let's get into it. Ah. Nice, good, warm cobra. Global Family Research by Alvarez. Killing Angel. I don't know. I'm not good with words. But, let's see what today's story have involved. There's, there's an eerie atmosphere out there tonight. But it rains every night. When is it not eerie, though? It rains every night, bro. When is it not eerie? Feels like a night for old friendships. And new accomplishments. I, an old face. Huh? See anyone there? I know this cat. Maybe. I think. Uh. Hello, you give. You gave me a starter. You're a Meowth right? You're going to transform me a second. Meowth? Wait, is this just a random cat? Or maybe not. Oh, uh, hey, Lil. You, you look different. But, hey, how it been? And, new customer? <laughs> Meow. Oh, yeah. I could say it better myself. Hi, Miss Loa. I didn't think this is the coffee drinking sort of cat. No, it wouldn't appear not. Do you have a new pet? Uh, pet cat then? I'm not quite sure this is my first time seeing this little one. Uh, bro, this cat is trying to steal this man's girl, boy. I don't know what that cat said, but he's speaking to Mad Riz. Are you sniffing me, cat kitty? Do you want to cuddle? Do you want cuddles? Okay, cat, chill. Alright, alright, no cuddles. Uh, cats. Indeed, indeed. I wonder if it's lost, but it doesn't have a collar, so it might be a stray. It's cute, though. Would make a nice mascot. Ah, uh, I would think that it. I would think that's up to. Nah, it's not up. Not up to us. Cats. Right. Anyway, it's been a little, yeah, it, like, it's been a good minute. Yes, last time we saw it, it was uh, like over a week ago. Wait, it, it was just a week ago. It, it really wasn't that long, like, it's just a solid week. What have you been up to? Honestly? Mostly work as usual. I'm a lot, I'm pretty beat. Did he just leave the office? Yeah. But in my defense, I spent the last hour looking at wedding dresses on Tonto. Tom. She's getting hitched. Well, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? It's not unfun. Hmm. That's a modestly really optimistic response. How's the wedding preparation going? They're going. Hey, all I'm saying is, I better get my invitation. Mm. I might need a drink before I answer that. You say look like you could use some, some warm. Something warm and cozy, yes. Milk and smoothing with just a bit of warm spice. I'm going to hit my pillow soon, so maybe that will be help. And I can see you have a snoozy new ingredients. We have boo petal and a hibiscus now indeed. 
It sounds interesting. I like to try hibiscus then with milk and warm spice. Yes, sir. I mean, ma'am. Hibiscus with milk and spice. Okay, that's sweet. That's sweet. That's sour. That's mint. And maybe ginger. Okay, just in case. I, I don't, like, I really don't want to get this wrong. I really don't want to get this wrong. Hibiscus milk. So I know it's hibiscus, thin milk, and warm spice. So something warm, warm. Oh. Something tells me I did get it right. I just didn't trust myself. You know what? Hibiscus, ginger, milk, ginger, hibiscus. You know what? I'm gonna trust myself. Porky, did the machine wake you up? Hey, but if you don't like it, you can leave. Here goes the mascot. Maybe it'll come back later? I bet, I bet, I bet it will. Castaways have reason for their actions. Ah, noted. Even if they're often rather mysterious ones. That's true. Anywho, here's your drink, Miss Luna. This is nice, even if it's a bit different from what, what I had in mind. It literally, bruh. Hibiscus, milk, and spice with something warm. Thanks, Barista. Of course. And you know, I don't care. I'm, I, I'm taking that one as a W. Right, so the wedding preparations. You and Mr. Bayless are still getting married, of course. Oh yes, absolutely. After everything we've been through, I'm not about to back down now. This is now very much my person. With the long ears and all. So none of those pesky cold feet. That sounds like good news. No cold feet and no cold anything. In fact, my stress is running so high. I feel like I have steam coming out of my horns. That doesn't sound like a good news. Yeah. It's just such a big thing, you know. I feel like we like that's all we talk about. But we're not making much progress. We're not further along than we were weeks ago. Do you have different expectations of the of the day? I don't know. I'm not sure I even know what I'm expecting anymore. I look I look at all the weddings on Tom's show. And they all do special over the top stuff. I don't have an original ideas like that. What Mr. Bailey's he enjoys creative endeavors, doesn't he? He does, but that's another issue. My parents are willing to pay for the part of the wedding, and I earn good living so I can cover most of it. Bay wants to contribute his shares, but he can't really afford it. And as you know, his parents aren't in the picture anymore. Do you still feel guilty about that? No, I don't think so. If I've learned anything, it's that you need to let the people you love make their own choices. But I am concerned. What about Bass is dropping all of his savings on his, on his stuff? And about him trying to guess what I what I want. Rather than expecting his own wishes. It sounds like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. Try to make sure everyone's happy. Perhaps. 
I guess that's unavoidable, right? Hey, he's back! Now, old friends do return. My man is back from Coachella. How it been, man? Hello, Nell. Uh, Nell, my buddy. Is this the, is this the space person you told me about weeks ago? The one who used to come from the coffee shop? I I thought it might be them, but I'm not sure now. They don't seem to react to my greeting. Besides, the last time we saw Nell, he had changed his name to Silver. And he looked rather more human. I see, this is all very mysterious also. Do you hear them come in? I'll be straight up real, I did not hear that bell. Typically, I can hear when someone comes in, but Nell, you uh... I mean, Silver didn't come in. I, I ain't really here though. They're stealthy. Breeze though, what does a girl have to do to get a drink or... Oh. Okay, that's the chick. Got it. Pour me a stiff one. Uh, I can definitely say, 100% cer certainty, is this neither nail or silver? This is somebody new. Beg your pardon? This is this, this isn't quite that kind of place. It, 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 isn't it? it? Our research indicates that this is the way one should order a drink. In a place of public consumption. It sounds like your research was based on pork westerners. Yeah, I can sense the shyness in this one. Is there anything wrong with orc westerners? We rather enjoy them. No, I, I, I guess not. Like, is there nothing wrong with orcs? It's just the way you went about it. They're just very different from reality. In what ways? That, uh... It wouldn't take a, it would take a very long time to answer that. I guess the bare question is, how are they similar? How are they similar? Uh, that also take a long time to explain. You did say it was the better question. Hey, fair enough. I suppose the honest answer is... The way people feel emotions is similar. How their adaptions have dreams. And how they want things and sometimes get jealous of others. But also how they help each other out. And how they fall in love. It sounds like Earthlings have very b busy feelings. I guess we do. Are your people very different in that respect? We are. Although we want things to... But it appears that Earthlings have at least 94.328% more emotions than we do. But just to go ahead and round that up to 100. How do you distinguish them between them all? Be honest, sometimes we don't. Like, shoot. We get one emotion, they don't feel like another one, and we go about it. Shoot. Emotions are easy to miss and true. Reading others isn't easy, nor is it understanding themselves for the matter, for that matter. That adds more spice to the life, I guess. It sounds to us like it would be helpful to have those emotions displayed. Basically like in a text message. Especially in movies. Perhaps you could write them at the top of the screen. Cinema from the 1920s would certainly agree with you. Or you could just have subtitles. But, pardon me. You're not Nell, are you? 
or silver. Indeed, we are not. Our name is Amanda. So there's silver of you here on Earth. There are a great many of us everywhere. Our average display is 3,450.45 per galaxy. Godly. But this is not the topic of our present conversation. Nope, you want a drink, don't you? We do wish to absorb some liquid matter, yes. In our own say liquid matter. Similar to what the people Earthlings has been doing. Purple Earthlings? That is certainly a description. Is it wrong? Would it be more ac accurate to describe you as the four appendages Earthlings? Do you mean my horns and my ears? Uh, Miss Amanda? We usually avoid addressing customers by the number of their appendages. Oh, we apologize. But we cannot address the, per the customer by the name as we wish not to know it. Oh, I have injured myself. That's, that, that's my bad. I'm a little... Lua. 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 Yes. It's a very pleasing sound. Oh. Well, thank you. We wish to absorb some liquid matter, as Lua has been doing. Of course. And you do have an idea as to what kind of um, liquid matter that would might be? Something bright colored and memorable. We want our first drink on Earth to be experience we shall never forget. Nope. No pressure, Barista. It's quite alright. We were born to raise this kind of challenge. A spirit. You got our ideas, Miss Amanda? We want the taste to be very spicy. We know that some places serve weak drinks. The best with female descriptions. Our research has been demanded by Tavir to be unreasonable in 99.99 of. Fortunately, this isn't the kind of place either. Indeed, so you'd like something vivid and spicy. What if it was, let's say, blue and ginger? We do not know what ginger means, but blue and g grassy sounds good to us. Alright, so, blue, ginger, ginger. Ooh. Okay, okay, I, I did, this is new for me. I have some blue lightning. A blue lightning coming right up. This is vivid indeed. Now let's try it. This is interesting. We heard that we might struggle to experience taste, but we can certainly feel the kick in this. Your reputation was well divided, divided, barista. And what kind of reputation is that? Sounds like sounds like we're skiing around. Soon this place will be uh, a hipster den. I should probably start looking for an, an alternative hut. I hope not. I would miss you a lot, Miss Lou. Brisa, isn't isn't that what a hipster does? Go to places only before they become cool. Well, look at this, touchy. I guess I'll be stick stuck with a uh, with me for a while longer. I don't have any other way. Now, Miss Amanda, what was that about my reputation? We heard about uh, you from our sibling, formerly known as Nail. Oh, so siblings, got it. I see. Siblings, huh? This isn't a future Hesperian Den. Mister Den. This is an alien Den. You should consider rebranding as Coffee Clothes Encounters. Ah, ha 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 ha! Funny. 
That makes it sound like a rather different type of place. Hmm. So what brings you here, man? Please, define, de define your question. Do you mean here on this planet? That too, but also here in this cafe. We are, we are on this planet on a research and rescue mission. It's like a search and risk recess. Perhaps it's a mission to gather numbers for research, as well as resource for siblings. We are in the cafe to wait for them. We made an appointment as it is, is custom here. It should arrive in two minutes, three seconds, and twelve milliseconds. Please pardon the roughness of our estimate. That's more than good enough. You are very kind. Rizzo, as mentioned your sibling a few times, I think Silverite? Indeed, we are part of the same hive mind. A hive mind? That sounds pretty amazing. But doesn't that make appointments less meaningful? That would have been true some time ago. But now, now known as Silver, is becoming more human by the day. Their connection to the hive mind grows tenorous. Oh. I must feel a little lonely. To lose your connection to your family when you've been so close. Hmm. Perhaps. What does it mean to be lonely? It's, uh... When you think about other people and they're not there. And that makes you sad. It makes you feel like you have a weight on your chest. I think that usually feel good to you lose a lot of their appeal. Thank you for your explanation. We think we see. We do know perhaps it's a little lonely. We cannot answer this one with within a 61% certainty. Uh, and a newcomer. Uh, hi everyone. I am Amanda. Come again? Uh, speaking of the space person, here comes my former regular. I apologize. I haven't been coming by often. Wait, wait, he's a reg. But where were you in the first game? Hi, I'm I'm Lua. Nice to meet you, Lua. I'm Silver. I've heard. Oh, wait, is that Nail? So that's Silver. Have you probably pictured me a a bigger suit? Wow. <laughs> Bro, you look completely different. I guess so, yes. A bit like your sibling here. I understand, but I've been un undergoing many changes lately. I, I let go of the suit. This form makes me feel truer to who I am now. I also changed my name for the same reason. Have you been away for long, Amanda? So that's Silver. And that's Amanda. There's a hive mind. He's been disconnected. And now he does more human things. Okay. Not unworldly. Again, the sounds is uh, speaking volumes. You're screaming. awkward. Just a bit. Amanda. Yes? You should know that. I've been missing you a lot. What is miss? Is it like being lonely? Yes, it is. When do you learn what lonely is? 
We have been told that it's the name of the feeling we have. When we think about you, that's... I... I just... Br bring it in. Bring what? Oh. That's one long hug. So cute. I can hear you, you know. Mm. Right. Hugs are nice. As we are saying, we appreciate your bre your bringing only three milliseconds late. Huh. The kids see you haven't changed. You you have. And you yet and you yet you haven't. And that you are close, you feel a part of the hive again. And your presence is similar to what it always was. It makes me real happy that you hear that. You should order a drink as as it's customary. Then we produce with then we proceed with our discussion of the mission. Mission. Oh, doesn't old Barista didn't tell you about that? <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> How's the mission going? Eh? Not really. Well, the reason I came here in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's the fun love? You need to reproduce with the local species. Ah, uh, yes, to, to spread his genetics. That's another way to put it. I think I remember you putting it in those terms yourself, Silver. I did, yes, but that was a long time ago. I want to tell you everything. But first, Amanda is right. I'd like to order a drink. Guy tastes them properly now, so I enjoy them a lot more. Happy to hear that. What would you like? I like something new and unique. I wanted to explore all these new sensations, but nothing too strong, please. I don't have to stay in tolerance as I sp as before. Also, I'm in the mood for something a bit sweet in Florida, and maybe with a bit of freshness to it. Something new, but not too strong. A bit sweet, flavorful, and refreshing. Maybe blue? Oh, I love blue. Something sweet, a f something sweet, for refreshing and blue. Okay, so obviously this something sweet. It's something refreshing. Hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I don't know what I just made, but that's it. That is it right there. One bright flower bed for the silver person. This definitely looks unique. I can't wait to try it. Oh yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh my, it's delicious. That's the ticket, that's the ticket. Dr drinking touch my mouth makes such a difference. To be honest, I never experienced to like it this much, but now I can never get enough of it. Drinking through the glove does look uncomfortable. It's a very different experience. Not entirely unpleasant. No, it's also nice in its own way, but it doesn't come via taste in the way a mouth does. It's much more about the sensation. Which definitely makes it intense. But I'm happy to drink Barista's creation the way they were intended. As for the mission. Mm, yeah, how's that mission going? Yes, the mission. It has run into some difficulties. Man, got no game. Difficulties? What nature? Well... Uh, the trouble is, I still have some trouble finding myself a date. 
Ah, weeks and months later, he still gets absolutely no blade. But by God, I can I can feel this man's pain. Where's a date? It's a step you need to take before um coupling up. You meet some you meet somewhere you talk. You get to know the person. Not having hive connection sounds exhausting. It could be a challenge to be honest. But in another way, it's wonderful. Without the hive connection, when you meet someone, it's always a surprise. They react in ways I didn't expect. And always I went. And every time I learn something new. About earthling species? That too, certainly. But most importantly about myself. That's definitely what what brings what someone is about. Every time you're honest with a person you love. You you get you get out of your comfort zone and become a better person yourself. That sounds complicated. We need to make a future complication to understand. It's different from what you used to, but it's pretty great. I mean, it sounds like to me you've got it you've got it figured out. Certainly your days should should go well enough. Thank you, you're very kind. And I and I and if I may say so myself, I think I have made some progress. If I if I did get a date, I think it would be going been better than before. That's the problem then. Well, yeah, my man can get one. See, that's a very big city by even by our standards. Everyone is busy running around. These people aren't very trusting like in romantic movies. You can't just ask someone on the street to go on a date with you. Sounds like a hey, my man's gotten farther than me. <laughs> He's tried. <laughs> yes, I tried several times. I even stood on a place for a few hours with a date. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> See, maybe I should try doing that next. That is, uh... Not an, op an, op an optimistic strategy. Yes, I realize that's it. Hey, it was a strategy used that could attempt to work. People mostly seemed a little scared. I hear most people meet their partners at work. Is that something you could try? Maybe later on, I don't know. But most important, mo but in the moment, I'm afraid. My work doesn't at uh, attract the right sorts. I don't know you to find a job, Silver. Ah, uh, yes, I did a few months ago. I decided to open up a cafe. Wait, trust to my business, trust to my money, trust to my customers. Huh? I brought you into this. Don't think I can take you out. Really? Does that mean baristas has competition? Not at all. I would never want that. It's rather feels like a small way to start a family tradition. Interesting. Anyways, after I tried all that, I was running out of ideas. So I decided to uh, real estate lonely hearts. Like I did when I had just arrived here. All I think does sound like a reasonable solution. I thought so too. But the amount of dates I've gotten since I downloaded it, it's... With a face like that, I don't see how people aren't swiping right more. Based on the surrounding per permanence, we will guess absolutely zero. Look at we put it like that, it, it makes it sound mad. That is very accurate, yes. Oh. Do you know why? If I'm if, if I'm being honest, 
I think I have no I think I have an idea but it might sound strange coming from me the online dating process feels a little no it feels a lot alien come from you that is crazy but you're not long you're not long please expand your explanation do you mean it lacks earthling species oh no it, the earthlings is in all shapes and not forms but it feels impossible to connect to them I was much more successful at it when I first tried months ago but now it's a little like how my connection to the hive mind has been recently I am a part of it to some extent I feel like if I can just reach out it'll, it'll find its understanding but then I do research out it only finds silence sounds real that's pretty sick <laughs> bro my man is trying to find a date like bro he's tried he's tried I can't knock the dude for trying sorry I make everyone gloomy now oh no don't worry about that at all I'm just worrying if I got friends I can set you up with but that's all that's all I have for partners. They're very kind of I'll find someone some sort of way eventually. It's pretty important that I do. It's an external issue for some people. Bert. It feels like you're talking to me. And I don't like it. We'll help. You will help. You are still new to the Earthling thing yourself. I don't know. I really appreciate your offer, Amanda, but even after spending years here, I still struggle with it all. When I first arrived, it was hard for me to even hold a conversation. Now I think I can read people a little better, but it's still... You're still looking for a conversation, yet you are... You wish to connect to the hive mind, and you find it easier when you first arrived. Is that what you're? Is that what you said? Yes, that's true. But we are a hive mind, and we have just arrived here. It will help. Doesn't sound reasonable. I suppose social media can be a bit like a hive mind sometimes. That mom mentality. And there's no harm in trying, right? Well, listen, man, if you try seven times, you shot all seven of your bullets, you still got more bullets, you gotta keep shooting your shot. Then I guess that sells. I'll show you the app works when we leave here, man. We are prepared. You will gather intelligence and draw conclusions. With our high powers and your human knowledge, based on your previous experience and your new skills, we estimate our odds of success is 100%. I like confidence, kid. There is always a focus of force of nature. We do not know what that means, but it sounds compelling. We are pleased. As for wait, as for what is we have to go now, but what happened? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm very curious myself. What, what, what did just happen? I'll explain everything later. Cyberista Lua. See you soon, I hope. What? Well, no time, let's go.
Well, that was odd. Yes, that was a rather sudden departure. I hope they're going to be alright. I don't know that I ain't seen none. Good evening. Evening, Mr. Agent. You two know each other? Agent has been asking about our customers in the past. But I trust tonight has come for a late night coffee. So I don't know, I am, I am official business. Sounds serious. It is very serious, Miss Lua. Miss Lua and Barista. You know why I'm here, don't you? Well, if it's not for the coffee, honestly, I'm at a loss. Is that how you want to play? Is that how you want to play it? What about you, Miss Lua? Want to make an educated guess? Uh, educated guess? Well, I swear I'll. F I filed my tax. My, my tax return months ago. <laughs> like, hey, I, I filed my taxes now. I did ballets at the same time, so that can't be it. I have no clue. You too. Do you take me for a fool? Absolutely, 100%. We would never. Well, let me make myself clear then. Have there been alien sightings at this coffee shop recently? Alien sightings? Sorry, but that sounds kind of far-fetched. Thank you again, both of you. Think carefully. If I were you, I wouldn't tell any lies. This is getting old. We didn't do anything wrong. And we don't have the answers to any of your questions. Actually. Actually nothing. I know my rights. I mean, she does know her rights, so. though. You have no interrogations to come here and act like a big shot. I've never seen anyone in this coffee who doesn't belong here. So I suggest you take your suspicions elsewhere. And leave this place in Barista alone. My investigations. Your investigation means nothing to us. I can feel myself getting angry, Mr. Agent. And trust me. You do not want me to see me angry. Uh. Hmm. Why didn't you... Hey, don't you dare put your hands on me. I didn't do such a thing. Not yet, at least. Either she made the lights go off the hour that was perfectly timed. Very well. I'll go for now, but this isn't over. I won't stand by quietly while aliens invade Seattle. Suit yourself. You'll only be wasting your time. I'll be the judge of that. I'll get that to you. Well, <laughs> that could have gone bad. Oh, that was impressive. Well, I may be on the quicker side, but I'm still a succubus. I'm glad you're a friend and not my enemy. Hmm. Truth be told, I don't like to antagonize people. But I guess sometimes it can't be helped. Yes. I don't know what that guy is r was really after. He's an alien interrogating agent. He's been after Silver for a while now. Back when Silver was called Nell in Look Like It, Amanda. That doesn't make me like him anymore. I came very close to clipping him in his mug face, so to be honest. Even if I don't touch him in the end, despite what, what, what he thought. No, indeed, you don't have to touch him. What do you mean? Seems like an important ID card. A shame if someone were to lose it. Ugh. 
be a shame if it's leaked out to the public. Well, AJ had this on him and now he does anymore. Not even recent. Don't think you had it. Didn't, didn't think you had it in you. This certainly is an interesting looking ID card. Yes. I'm sure someone creative could find good use for it. My, my submissions exactly. Well, I guess you have some time to consider what to do with it. And who to pass it on to. Indeed. Anyway, this should be more than I'd like to admit. I'm so sorry. It's really not your fault. But I'm going to go and spend some time with my fiance now. Which will be a all of 30 seconds. Before I start storing on his shoulder. Ah, that sounds pretty good. Say hello to him for me. Will do. Now check these messages. Ah, new friends. Amanda. Space. Nice. Silver. Alright, alright, alright. Ah, shoot. I, I, I check everything. Oh, shoot stories. Okay, yes, yes. What's it? I'm upset, but I don't know how to fix it. Okay. It's crazy. Ah, new video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Ah, oh, it's crazy. Nice. This agent looks like he's going to be in trouble. I said. I suppose the ID card. But tomorrow's another day. So it's another day by tomorrow. It's pretty so. Larry just coffee, coffee, coffee. Impossible to mess up. Not gonna lie, that rain is relaxing though. Atlantic countries to sign multi-billionaire dollar deal for education system and improvement. Well, that would be something interesting if we ever talked about it, but this has been another video. Who will love peace and buy, and always make sure you stay on a cold brew.